What's up guys? Today I will be showing you how you can control your Canon DSLR with your Android device. Now, of course, you will need an Android phone in order to do this, preferably a Nexus, and I'll tell you guys why later. You will also need a USB OTG cable. I'll leave a link down below so I can show you where you can buy one. And of course, a Canon camera. So, let's get started. So assuming that you already bought a USB OTG cable, the only thing that you really need to do now is download DSLR controller, and it is in beta. It does cost money, but it's well worth it. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Once you've done that, go ahead and plug in the USB OTG cable to your device or your Nexus phone, preferably. The reason why I say Nexus is because this app works really well with Nexus devices, including the Nexus 7. Once you've done that, go ahead and plug in the USB cable that comes with your camera, and of course, plug in the USB to your camera. Now, once you get everything connected, all you need to do is turn on your DSLR camera, and it'll automatically load the app onto your phone or tablet. Now, I'm not gonna go through everything that this application can do. I'm gonna show you just some of the things that I use it for. So, my Canon camera does not automatically focus when I am doing video recording. This is one of those cameras where you have to manually focus while doing video recording. So, in this case, let's pretend that's me right there. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over here, push on it so that it can focus on my face. Remember, we're gonna use this ink cartridge replacement as my, my head. <laughs> as you can see, it is now focused, and you can also manually focus while you're recording on the fly, which is very, very nice. So, for example, somebody can be controlling the camera while somebody's over here pulling focus. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I'm just gonna move this out of the way over here. Right here where it says AF, go ahead and push on that. Now we are in manual, manual mode. So as you can see, um, I don't know if you guys can hear the camera working. So as you can see, it's very blurry and I can just adjust it right there on the fly. And I can also do that while it's recording. So that's very, very neat. Of course, you have all of your settings like your ISO. So if I wanted to increase this by 1600, there it goes. I can also adjust the aperture. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, make it a little bit brighter. Turn my ISO down a little bit to 1000 just to give you, ah, it looks pretty good and of course your shutter speed. So there's a lot of neat things that I really like about this app. When we have everything in focus, you can also take pictures. So I'm capturing that, it saves it onto your camera and it also transfers it to your phone and you can save it here. So that is very nice and convenient. Of course it tells you how many megabytes. I'm gonna go ahead and trash that because I don't wanna have 24.5 megabytes of a raw image. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And this is, again, this is a very nice application. You can do also bracket shooting. So if you're doing um, HDR, there's also uh, the different, there it is, drive modes, you can do timers. There's a lot of different features. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through every single one of them. You can zoom in five times, well, that's a lot, 10 times, and then of course back to one, one X. Your histogram, okay, very cool. Go back to, uh, there's a different autofocus mode, live, quick. I'm gonna go back over here to uh, AF. So again, guys, oops, see it's gonna try and focus right there. This is a very nice handy app. Just kinda wanted to share it with you guys to see uh, focus failed. <laughs> see what you guys think. And uh, you know, if you guys wanna go out and spy on people and uh, take pictures of your neighbor without having them see you, this is a really good application. It has a lot of different uses. So hope you guys enjoyed that. So DSLR controller is still in beta and it works really well with Nexus devices. Again, I will leave those links down below. A lot of times I wanna share these applications with you guys mainly because I find them useful and maybe some of you guys are photographers out there so you might find them useful yourself. So if you guys like this video, make sure you like and of course if this is the first time watching, subscribe if you guys like technology. Once again guys, thanks for watching. If you wanna see more of these videos, Follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. I'm always updating things and kind of telling you guys what I'm going to be doing next. If you guys want to suggest a video, leave your comments down below. I appreciate you guys watching this video. I will see you in my next video. Adios.